With the first pick in the 2021 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Cade Cunningham from Oklahoma State University. Good stuff for me. You're headed to Detroit, the Motor City. What do we think of the nickname Motor Cade? Can we get that going? Yeah, I love it. And, and shout out, hold on, hold on. Shout out Detroit. Shout out Detroit. I got to buff up, you oh. know what I'm saying? Shout out Detroit. Oh, you're ready. I'm buffed up now. Which camera I'm looking at? I'm in this one. Yeah, you're in this one right here. Detroit, I'm all the way in. Detroit Pistons, I'm all the way in. Let's do it. Yo, this is Rick Mahorn, the bad boy, giving a shout out to my man, Drew. Detroit Drew. Make sure you tune in on his YouTube channel, Detroit Drew. Bad boy. D -D Detroit Drew. Woodward Sports. Detroit Drew, Woodward Sports. Sports. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, peeps, how's everyone feeling after last night? Uh, to quote Eminem, I know a lot of them, uh, he's your guys' favorite rapper and music producer of all time, but to quote Eminem, wowzers, I think I just made a mess of my trousers. The Pistons killed the draft last night. First overall pick, we brought in Motor Cade, Cade Cunningham. Then in the second rounds, we bring in Luca, not the Luca, but Luca Garza. We bring in fan favorite U of M, Isaiah Livers. He is going to be cool. He's going to be fun to watch. I know a lot of people are excited about watching him. I know he's going to be a fan favorite. Uh, I think both the Isaiahs on this team now are both the fan favorites. Um, I'm just blown away at how good of a GM we have. I'm really speechless, man. I Just all the years we have suffered of bust and what ifs and question marks in his first two NBA drafts, Troy Weaver did a phenomenal job. And now, since we traded Plumlee away, we have almost $18 million in cap space, which means we'll be able to bring back both Frank Jackson and Diallo if the Pistons so desire to. I don't know what they're going to do with that yet. We'll have to wait and see because we have a lot of guards on this team now. But everything that's happened to all the players we drafted opens up competition, which is what you want. You want players to fight and earn their minutes. We want to put the best product out there available. So... Uh, training camp, summer league, all that's important as always as we're going to find out who deserves the minutes, who's going to be part of the rotation. But looking at it, starting five and all this stuff we're going to talk about as we get closer after free agency, um, but we're going to have a solid unit. We got a nice injection of youth still. We got a nice young core. And then, you know, you're going to see people like Jeremy Grant really take that leadership role where it's going to be awesome and fun where he's a good vet He's still young, but he's a veteran player. So everything's starting to come together, man. I, I think You guys are calling Luca uh, Bill Lambeer 2.0, which it's a fun comparison uh, But he's gonna get buckets probably for us off the bench. He'll probably be the backup to beef stew um, Livers man, he's this guy who Troy has said it's kind of like the guys last year He's tough He's selfless. He can shoot the ball. He said everyone we drafted can shoot over 40% from downtown, which I'm ecstatic about, man. You want to get young guys who can shoot, who can do more than just shoot. I think everyone that we drafted does that, man. Uh, Troy Weaver just did a phenomenal job with this draft, man. Kudos to you, man. I, I was standing over I'm sitting down, but imagine me standing up and clapping, man. It, the reaction from people at LCA was insane. You guys went crazy. You guys were awesome last night in the chat. You guys went crazy. It was a fun night, man. I can't wait to see what we're going to do in free agency and who we're bringing back if we add any new people. And just because the draft's over doesn't mean trade season's over. We can still make some moves and add some more talent. What's